Hey everybody, and welcome to my playthrough of The Legend of Zelda! The Topologies of Zelda! Wow, this is that Triforce. Triforce is Infinite! Doing some oh, shit. gonzo shit right there. <laughs> and here we open up with a uh, little conversation by the players of this video game. We're green. I thought this was a 3D game. Why is it a text adventure? Go north. Well, we would, but the first thing we need to do is, in true Zelda fashion, talk to this old man. I've got that on a shirt, and I'm ashamed to wear it. Ah, there we go. Had to troubleshoot our sword for a second. This seems pretty standard so far. In spite of that weird Triforce, I'm, I'm digging this. The screen shifting is a little weird because uh, it's not really like... It's very smooth. <laughs> so when does this become a fan game? Oh, hey. Well, uh, this is the first dungeon. It's pretty cool. Whoa! Oh, hey! So you know how in Zelda you had all those weird puzzles where it was like you have to go up the mountain a bunch but you seem to always loop around? Well, what would that look like in an actual physical space? Uh, it would look like a donut I rendered in Blender. <laughs> this, this, I'm not gonna lie, this is making me hungry. This kind of looks delicious. This is Krispy Kreme's newest, uh, newest product. Right here. <laughs> Check out all this bump mapping that's not there. Oh, hey. Yep, and now we have the, uh, second area. And now we're inside of a coffee can. Oh, God, the... Oh, it's a little <laughs> bit nauseating. <laughs> Just a little bit. So, the whole thing with this 3D is uh, you don't really want to get hit, because uh, the laser sword is kind of required to hit some of this stuff. <laughs> Mandatory sorting, yeah. Gotta have it. Not, not, I mean, you could, like, melee these enemies, but I wouldn't recommend it. I'm gonna use my laser sword to defeat Running Man. The, uh, could you imagine this game with VR goggles on? Could that- is that a thing that could be possible, that could be done? I don't have eight eyes, so I wouldn't ima- I can't imagine. <laughs> it could- I, it could be. Though I'm assuming, uh, that would not go so well. If you were the great man spider, you could pull that off, maybe. <laughs> and that's our first dungeon! That tests our knowledge of toroids! All the blood rushes to Link's head and he just passes out. So what's next, a UV sphere? Oh, uh, Lost in Space, that's my favorite film. And now we learn a little bit about mapping. Which is really what this game's all about. I mean, this stuff doesn't make sense with regular ways of telling the world, but to a child it would make more sense. Hmm. So this is like, uh... I imagine this is how, like, a lot of... This is the kind of stuff that 3D designers have to wrap their head around, is all this sort of shit. <laughs> well, no, it's mostly, like, in the idea of, like, in an old, like, 2D game where it's like, oh, let's go do this in the Lost Woods. Again, mm -hmm. it's a donut because that doesn't... it doesn't work anywhere else. Yeah. Also, this game can get kind of difficult sometimes. Well, is it yeah, pretty I mean... faithful to the first Zelda? Is it one-to-one -one the same, or...? Uh, enemies seem Ooh. to be capable of attacking very, very fast. Got it, yeah. Um, that... <laughs> that suddenly became like a very delicious-looking strawberry-esque donut right there. For that very <laughs> fleeting moment. Blood bagel. <laughs> Cinnamon blood bagel. I'd eat it. Also, it can just kind of spawn enemies on top of you sometimes if it feels like it. That is some bullshit. <laughs> So when you spawn in, just start flailing uh, incomprehensibly to make sure you're safe. Yeah, pretty much. What dictates... Yeah. It doesn't seem to want to spin with you right now. Uh, you actually have full control over the spinning. Oh, you control both then? Yeah. Oh, that that's neat. I didn't know how that was actually working. Oh, hey. Now we got a globe. Welcome to the fish eye. Whoa. And oh man, it is, I was right. We are on a UV sphere. Sort of. So this one is all about teaching you how globes work. Oh god. It's a good globe. Yeah. So is the, is the whole game in here like this? Because that's impressive. 
If so. Is the whole game gonna use every primitive possible? We're we gonna go on a plane net? Well, we already been on a plane, obviously. I'm trying to think of what what other dumb thing we could. Oh, we could be on the teapot in freaking uh, Autodesk. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think we got a few things we could be like. We'll get the next Triforce piece after learning how globes work. Or or the monkey head from Blender. Gotta love that one. We'll end up on a Mobius strip, and then the game's just gonna get very confused and break. Uh, I don't know, I kind of feel like we are. <laughs> Maybe, possibly, it's hard to tell. What even is this one? I'm pretty sure this actually is a Mobius strip. Oh, wow. Okay. I think well... it's just a, a series of planes that are stretched about, and then it has a, a looping texture or something. I don't know shit about 3D, so I'm just making guesses. Well, part of it is that it's black, so uh, they cover up any inconsistencies. Oh yeah, well I can see the seams. I see you. Oh, there we go. Ah, hello. Now, now it all comes into place. There we go. This can be rather difficult if you don't figure out what the trick is. Is that this is actually a room that's been stretched into this location. So as long as you figure out what direction you're roughly going, it is a square. Just warped into that. To be fair, if people are feeling nauseous playing watching this, I can I can understand that. <laughs> so based on the fact that you do have two triforces out of three, I imagine this isn't the full game. <laughs> it's uh just a nice little slice. It's a little it's a little shorter. The real boss is your perspective. I appreciate that Orange can't figure out where our dungeon eight is, even though it's really obvious in the game where it would be. <laughs> hmm, where's the one rough area of the game that I haven't been to? Hmm, I haven't really found anything on the map. Nah, I can't be there. That'd be too obvious. But there's only two exits, so what if we go back here? What if we rotate the 2D image? Oh, hey, it's just a square. Oh, shit, we're on a plane now. Oh, no, we're on a cube. Wee. Never mind. <laughs> I like this one. It's not quite a cube. Oh? Because, so well, a cube has six sides, right? Oh, so this one only has four? You could say that. But oh. uh, we gotta get over here onto this mountain, but we don't really seem to have an ability to get up there that easy. Right. What are you gonna do then? Well, if we go up, it just takes us over here. Oh! Wow, yeah. Um. So what if we go down here? Well, the screen didn't change. Takes you over oh. to the... Does it take you over to the other one, or...? Ooh! Oh, hey. oh! Whoa! So, uh, okay. what do you call a cube with eight sides? <laughs> um... <laughs> uh, I call that four planes being... being joined together. A really shitty box that can't carry anything, because the top and the bottom have fallen out. So the gimmick with that one is that, uh staircases you go through are all based around where they are, so if you go on the left one, you can move one screen to the left. Oh, this one. Now this is cute. From hell. Yep, and it's full of dark nuts. <laughs> the fun cannot be halted. If you're really unlucky, it'll be spawned full of fast dark nuts, like this guy. I hope we make it to level red. Are there any pulse voices in this where you can just yell into your computer's microphone and it just obliterates them? I don't really want to think about jumping in this engine. <laughs> That's fair. Oh god, yeah, ooh. We would have to perceive a... well... It just jumps at the screen. <laughs> like, you have to put your 3D glasses on for those. Jumps between planes on the, uh, area. Oh, ooh. So, this one can be as difficult as you want to make it, because you do have total and free control over this, uh... Bot, uh this cube, but the thing is, uh... Your controls are not mapped to the camera. Oh. So, oh, when you rotate to left or right, you're still bound by the... You're still technically going up, in quotes. Yeah, yeah. I am 
deeply intrigued in the idea of watching a speedrun of this, because <laughs> that would just be, be like watching a music video. Well, I mean, it's not difficult as long as you can get your eyes around it. And uh, here we go. Let's combine everything we've learned. Oh, wow. It all comes together for that final Triforce and hopefully a battle with Ganon. Oh, I just caught a glimpse of what the actual shape of this thing is. It's like a weird uh, eight thing. Ooh, yeah, it's kind of going in on itself. I mean, that goes without saying, but yeah, I'm seeing it. Ever wanted to play Zelda while looking down a barrel? <laughs> whoa, whoa, that's... Oh, it's so, it's so spirally, Jesus. How will Sai ever solve this Rubik's Cube? This is one hell of a visual trip. I was not expecting this today. Well, if we look at it a bit more closely, we do kind of figure out what it's shaped like. So if we just uh, uh, get a bit more clever about how we're doing things. Ah, oh, you play that soon. Someone, I feel like this is almost like a design concept for a full game that's going to play with this as a mechanic, because this is really neat. I'm surprised uh, it hasn't already been a game like this. I yeah, feel like there it's... has been. Yeah, climb yeah. models are a little difficult to work with. Well, that's, yeah, that's reasonable, but it would make for one hell of a puzzle. So if you want to make this a little easier on yourself, uh, if you have full health and you shoot the sword beams, they curve around, so you can roughly figure out where you're supposed to be. Ooh, okay. Uh, use echo location. Echo linkation? Um... Okay, it seems like you're just kind of gone straight towards the middle now. Oh! No, no, you're there! You're there! You've got it! Hey! It was a toroid! So, you know, just gotta use what you've learned. Ah, uh, it's, uh, it's over, isn't it? A uh, very cute game. As long as I don't hit, no, I will continue playing. What does the ellipses do? Ooh. Figuring out secrets, eh? Oh well, <laughs> forget that. So, if you go through the second quest, you don't get a sword, you get bombs. <laughs>